In this exercise, we'll be writing a version of the stir copy function that copies the contents of one C-style string into another C-style string. The first argument is going to be the destination of the copy, and the second argument is going to be the source. And we'll assume that there's enough space in the destination array to hold all the characters from the source. We'll also have a void return, unlike the version in the standard library, which returns the address as passed in as the first argument. So I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to work on this on your own, and then we'll go ahead and look at it together. Okay, we'll start with the signature of the function. Now the first parameter, which is the destination st string, is actually a pointer to a character that's not const. And that's because we actually need to modify those characters that are being pointed at. On the other hand, the second parameter is going to be a pointer to constant characters, and that's because we don't need to modify them in order to read their values. Now looking at the body of this function, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be iterating over the source string until we hit the null terminator. And in each iteration, we'll be copying one character at a time. Once we hit the null terminator, that tells us when our source string ends. And so that's when we need to stop making, stop copying characters. Okay, so we'll use a while loop to traverse through the source. And we need to dereference into the source in order to actually read the character value that's being pointed at. And our termination condition, once again, is going to be when we hit the null terminator. Now we can compare directly against the null character, or we can actually leave out that comparison entirely because a null character actually has a false truth value. So when dereferencing source gets us to the null character, then that will become false, and then the loop will exit. Either way is fine. Now within this loop, what we need to do again is copy each individual character over to the destination, which means that we need to dereference into the destination to obtain our target character object, and we need to set its value to be the value from the source character. Once we've done that, then we need to move our pointers forward so that both the destination and the source are pointing at the next character in their respective arrays. So we'll go ahead and increment both our destination and our source pointers. Once we're done with this loop, then we've copied all of the characters except for the null terminator, because this loop actually exits once it reaches the null terminator in the source. So that means that the null terminator hasn't been copied over. However, we do need to copy it because the destination needs that null terminator to indicate where the string actually ends. So we need to make sure at the end of this sequence that we copy over that null terminator as well. And then once we've done that, we've completed our copy of our string. Now there are several other ways to do this. There's actually a one-line way to do this that relies on the specific semantics of, um, of postfix fixed increment operator and also what happens with, with assignment. But we won't look at that for now.